Ahoy music lovers, vinyl enthusiasts, and everyone in between. I'm Isaac, this is The Blind Island, and today I'm coming at you with another video of recent vinyl spins, the things that have been hitting my turntable with frequency lately, and things I've been just digging in general. So uh, this is just a little sampling of a uh, few records. I'm constantly playing vinyl, so this is, is by no means everything that's been playing recently. But I thought that I would share it with you, maybe give you something to look at that's different, and a couple of in here that you've seen before quite a few times. So let's get started. First, we're going to get started with what's playing right now. I've listened to this one quite a few times since receiving it, and it's a Ghost Funk Orchestra, an ode to escapism. This is on the Karma Chief label, which is a subsidiary of Coal Mine Records, which is one of my favorite contemporary labels right now. If you're a fan of Daptone, Motown, Stax, that type of sound, then you're really going to enjoy what Coal Mine is doing. Karma Chief is their more uh, rock-leaning subsidiary, a little bit more on the psychedelic bend, but this is a phenomenal record. And I can't quite... Uh, adhere to its rules because it basically asks you to sit back, relax, close your eyes, and let the music wash over you. It's a beautiful sentiment, especially in our uh, age when things are just constantly going, and I just love the music that's on here. Fantastic record, and one that's highly recommended. And next, a record that uh, hit my turntable a couple of days ago. One of my favorite film scores of all time. This is uh, Sonny Rollins' uh, score for the movie Alfie, 1966. And this is just some of Rollins' best playing. As far as film scores can go, you can't possibly get any better than a master of the saxophone like Sonny Rollins scoring your film. This is a soundtrack in the loosest sense because it basically is a re-recording of the sessions and where Rollins is really able to stretch out and have some amazing solos on here and also give himself a lot more space between his phrasing. It's a beautiful record. It's an original on the Impulse label, um, mono copy. And if you haven't listened to this yet, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful jazz album. Then next, uh, you know, spring is here, uh, just right around the corner, but we're finally getting some warmer weather. The snow is melting. So I'm starting to crack into my surf collection again. And I brought out my Al KC Surf and Hoot Nanny. Love this uh, album cover. Just think that it is so much fun. And this one is produced by Lee Hazelwood. He brought in a lot of his members of the Wrecking Crew to do songs for this. And it's just a really great surf record. One that is an absolute gem in my, uh, in my surf collection. Then next I have uh, an album that is just really grown on me as far as folk music is concerned. An underrated folk artist in my opinion, and this is uh, Peter Lafarge, a uh, sings song for, uh, sings women blues. And this is an amazing album. This is a later reissue. I would love to get an original. There's a beautiful woman on the cover. And there, this song is full of songs of heartbreak, love, loneliness, and just a really, really interesting way of looking at uh, romance. And a line that really uh, grabs me is from a song called Sunday. And he just takes a, a look at why men treat women so poorly. And is this, and the line is, is this how American manhood it is uh, thrown at a lone refugee? And I can't believe that this guy was so prescient uh, so many years ago when this conversation about manhood and how people should be treated in romantic relationships is so uh, topical and current today. I think that this is a phenomenal uh, folk album, just him and his guitar. It definitely has, uh, it's going to be an acquired taste for most, but for those who really enjoy the 
the song stylings of early Bob Dylan, you're going to really enjoy this record. And then we have a great CTI release, Sugar by Stanley Turrentine. This is a classic CTI record. It's purely Stanley Turrentine with his phenomenal quartet that he has surrounded by with him. Ron Carter, George Benson, Freddie Hubbard. Wow, what a fantastic quartet that is. And they really just lay down some really thick soul jazz in this album. It is usually listed as one of the best CTI releases, and I can't disagree. Really, really great record. And if you're looking for a nice soul jazz record to get yourself started into this type of music, this is a great place to start. Then we have a record that I mentioned in my latest finds, and this is a Chicano Batman and Invisible People. This is a record that I love spinning over and over again. There's lots of depths, lots of things to explore here, layers and layers of production, and also the songs are incredibly catchy. Uh, they grab you really well. It's a nice mix of indie, uh, psychedelic rock with Latin funk jazz. So really, really cool record, and I highly recommend it to you. Um, check it out. Next is one that is a frequent favorite here in the VC, and that is going to be the Allman Brothers Eat a Peach. Um, Father-in-law was over actually just a few days ago, and we threw this record on. We, we really bonded over it. We uh, sat down and listened to the Foggy Mountain Jam, and we're just pretending to play the instruments. It's just so great how music can transcend generations. This is my favorite Allman Brothers release, and it's a classic for a reason. If you haven't given it a listen, I highly suggest you do. And finally, I was listening to this this morning, and it's hit the turntable quite a few times, and I've shown it a couple of times here on the channel too, but. Again, Lovell Andrew gave me a fantastic deal on this. This is a Japanese pressing of Barrett by Sid Barrett. Uh, made by the genius fractured mind of the former frontman of Pink Floyd. This is just a, lot, a collection of song uh, uh, fragments, I would say. Because some of the songs don't even truly take off. They Just as they're starting to get you seem like they are starting to get going somewhere, they end. But that's part of the charm, part of the beauty of this record. Listening to him try and fight his inner demons to continue to create whimsical, truly beautiful music is something that's really enchanting. But uh, yeah, it's not for everybody, but for me, this is my favorite Sid Barrett release. And I'm super happy to have this one in the collection. So guys, that was what has been hitting the table recently. Most of the new vinyl spins. What have you been listening to lately? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I hope that you have a great day on your own personal oasis. Cheers.